the Azores, it's a kind of oasis. We are really the most remote lands in the North Atlantic. Geologically and oceanographically, it's a complex region, and the, this complexity gives you the, the uniqueness of this region. I'm uh, Felipe Mora Porteiro. I'm a Portuguese from the Azores, and uh, I'm a marine biologist. I'm working on the deep sea research team, uh, looking for the water corals and sponges, and on the pelagic team on the acoustics of deep scattering layers of midwater fishes. And also to translate the uh, science produced in this cruise for a general public and um, for the stakeholders that uh, I think are keen to know more about the research. The sea was always present in my life. Since I was a kid, uh, I just play on the tide pools. I learn how to fish, how to, uh, to appreciate fish and marine life in general. I started work on marine biology in uh, 87 and I'm happy with my choice to be a marine biologist. Okay, so this is an idea event now. Princess Alice and the Bangton Jean de Castro both are really important seamounts. Because of their topography, they were right spots for both scientific teams we have on board. Because the um, pelagic life aggregates like manta rays, whale sharks, other sh pelagic sharks around the, the summits of those seamounts, and because uh, in the same spot you can go down and find the uh, deep water corals and sponges aggregations for the deep sea research team uh, work. So it was really the best of two worlds for both uh, scientific teams to work together in the same platform. The Azores Archipelago is quite remote. It uh, is located uh, in the triple junction of uh, three tectonic plates, the American, Eurasian and African ones. And also it's an archipelago generated by the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This uh, geological context makes the Azores unique. You have uh, abyssal plains, you have the islands, the sea mounts, the vent fields. So you have a panoply of ecosystems concentrated in a small geographic area. On the top of that, it's an ecotone. It means that the Azores, it's between two biomes. To the south, you have the uh, subtropical waters. To the north, you have temperate waters, the, which are separated by the Azores current. Those uh, uh, water masses have different faunas. And here in the Azores, those faunas mix together so this is really a crossroad, the ecological crossroad. We are small, about 250,000 people. We have a huge economic exclusive zone. It's about 1 million square kilometers around the islands, but less than 1% is shallower than 600 meters. We are working on now the government of the Azores developing the marine protected areas network in the Azores to reach 30% coverage of the explosive economic zone as soon as possible. Marine protected areas is a tool, but there are many other tools that should be implemented as well. For example, if you do marine protected areas and if you don't uh, decrease the fishing effort, you are going to increase the fishing effort elsewhere and depleting the stocks elsewhere. If you decide top-down, if you don't care about the stakeholders' opinions, they don't care about your decisions. To put everybody at around the table and to discuss the problems, it's the only way you have. I think science is the main tool that humankind has to solve the huge problems we are facing. 
now we have the two teams working more or less separate but uh, when data starts to be analyzed and results start to appear i think that um, the challenge is to integrate logic with the Bethic and to get the big picture of the ecosystem functioning and the um, biological processes we create boxes where we put things to understand better the world, but the world has no boxes at all. It's a complex ecosystem and everything is interrelated. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm quite optimistic and full with energy to work in a profit of the planet for the humans, for neighbors, for my colleagues. I think that if I have conscience about the problems, I should work to fight those problems and to solve those problems. Even if um, sometimes I'm pessimistic. And as I'm getting old, I'm the more pessimistic. But still working with energy to, to uh, live a better world for my child and for the child of everyone. <laughs>